Hi, it's Nikki here from Happy Hormones for Life, and today I am talking about a hormone that doesn't get discussed an awful, awful lot actually, but it's got some really big benefits, and that is oxytocin. It is one of our happy hormones, so uh, let's talk about why and what it is, and you know, how much, more importantly, how we can get more of it. Um, it's a hormone that is released in your brain, so it acts, acts actually like a neurotransmitter. So it's released in the hypothalamus in the brain, and then it's distributed in the by the pituitary, gl pituitary gland to the rest of your brain. And it can stimulate emotions of love, trust, connection, empathy, bonding, and that comfort, comfortable kind of warm, fuzzy feeling. It also works with serotonin and dopamine, making these three a really powerful trio of super happy hormones. When is it released? Well, it's uh, released for women during childbirth, um, with its main job being to stimulate contractions. It's also released when you need to bond with your baby, so that's the cuddling and the breastfeeding can trigger it. But actually, nothing to do with uh, childbirth and uh, babies. Uh, it can be produced when you fall in love. Um, it can be produced during sex and orgasm. And when you're with good friends, socially bonding, by hugging, holding hands and being massaged, or by stroking and uh, or hugging your pet. So as well as making you feel good, actually research into oxytocin has revealed far-reaching health benefits as well. How does it do that? Well, it can decrease the level of stress hormones, cortisol, um, that can help you feel calmer and sleep better. It can protect your heart by dilating the arteries, helping your, uh, supplying your heart with blood, oxygen and nutrients. It can lower blood pressure. It's good for your gut. It's been proven to calm inflammation, reducing the risk of food sensitivities, autoimmune disorders and underlying infections. It can aid muscle and joint repair and pain due to the anti-inflammatory effects of it. It can offer protection against uh, aging, accelerated signs of aging and uh, regeneration of aged uh, tissue cells. It may be good for weight loss uh, because it can help reduce hunger signals in the brain as well. It can improve sexual pleasure. It can also help with conception because uterus, uterus contractions can um, help with sperm motility. And it's being proposed as a potential treatment in the medical world for anxiety and depression. So it's got a whole host of benefits. So we all need a bit more of it. How can we get more without actually having to give birth and bond with a baby? <laughs> well, you can do all these things. So try and uh, mix and match a few of these tips to see if you can get more oxytocin production. Holding hands with anybody, preferably a loved one. <laughs> Giving someone a big hug, the longer that hug, the better. I've heard stories or research about around about 20 seconds. It's quite a long hug. Get a massage. That's always going to help stroking anything, your pets, your, your body. Uh, having more sex, obviously, and or orgasms, either way. Spending time with friends or people you love. Even planning a get-together can provide a boost of oxytocin. Phoning someone you haven't spoken to in a while. Give or, giving or receiving gifts or uh, volunteering with a charity or helping others or donating to charity even has been shown to increase it. Cooking and sharing meals together, having a good laugh, so watching your favorite comedy or spending time with someone makes you laugh and listening to your favorite uplifting music. Those are just a few ideas of how you can produce a bit more oxytocin in your life. And if you can't do any of that right now, just even having a, some more self-care, a relaxing bath in Epsom salts, uh, with your favourite essential oil or just um, a few more ideas of self-care can be just as nourishing too. So just a few tips. This is a really quick one this week. Um, do share the love. If you, send, if you know anybody who needs a bit more oxytocin, do send them uh, this video or the blog that goes with it uh, or go and listen to it on the podcast. And do contact us if you need any help with your hormones or your health for information on how we can help you. Hope you're having an amazing day. Talk soon.